Well, ladies and gentlemen, one of the things we talk about a lot is that when these companies want to virtue signal to a particular side of the aisle, what ends up happening, right? The moment you don't bend the knee in any way, shape, or form, they're going to try to eat their own. They're going to try to come after you. They're going to try to cancel you. Or in today's day and age, the most tolerant people on the internet, or at least that's what they say anyway, are usually the ones to try to strike to blows first. Now, we have another example of this. We have an article here from good old show media website, Yahoo News, that says Target employee pulling queer products from shelves will escalate violence nationwide according to this employee so we're going to get into this article guys but of course before we do just consider hitting that like button so you can push us out into the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing because we're on our way to 24,000 subscribers it says walking into el dorado's target where i work off of uh, white rock road there is a sense that the values of our company strives to represent have been pervasively diminished even here in a deep blue pocket of california the pride display is still up right in the front store's entrance but it has been visibly reduced and toned down rainbows abound and pride symbols are there if you look for them but many of the products have been packed up and placed in the back and again like this article says this is in ultimate California, right like this is in a, in a state where it is very blue to, to a staggering amount almost 70 to 80 percent blue where people are completely indoctrinated and hive-minded by far so it's it's not shocking to see that this even in this state they are starting to now try to pull back because they want to push a narrative of violence but we're going to keep going so it says our pride display sits as if it's afraid to be there but it is shouldn't be because queer people in the country remain persecuted and marginalized ladies and gentlemen they ma they maintain this narrative that they are persecuted and marginalized all because all the laws that are coming out are targeting people trying to stop mutilation against kids nobody's doing anything for the adults nobody's doing anything if you're over 18 they're trying to make laws to stop this stuff from happening to little kids because kids are being indoctrinated into this cult-like behavior and parents are no longer for it not that they were ever for it to begin with but unfortunately a lot of people were in fact asleep it says target management saw that there was more than grumbling this year over the company's pride merchandise when conservatives of course it's conservatives you mean normal people at the end of the day it's not just conservatives it's not just left-wing people there is a ton of people in between that have all woken up and finally say you know what this shit is stupid this is stupid we're not going to enable you we're not going to let you indoctrinate our kids we're not going to try to let you convince our kids that it's perfectly normal to cut off their body parts in the name of the, of the corporate profit machine like that's not going to happen and now they're all getting up in arms because they desperately want these kids ladies and gentlemen let's be serious they def they desperately want these kids so bad because the more kids they can indoctrinate the more people they can recruit into their cult-like behavior and not only that it allows them to uh, keep the money going and that's what it's really about it's about them keeping the money going it says the country became angered and then emboldened after seeing annual pride rainbows sprout around them online threats circulated angered individuals threatened to destroy displays and hunt down lgbtq individuals and allies nobody threatened to hunt down lgbtq okay that's not even that's not even remotely true True, and we're going to see what I mean by the end of this article, but that's not even remotely true. When they say hunt down, all they're doing is protesting this LGBTQ nonsense in these stores. That's essentially what they're doing. They're protesting it in the stores. They're protesting it in the schools, especially. That's the biggest thing. They're protesting it anywhere that you're trying to push it onto kids, and now you're taking that as an assault. That's interesting because you guys are the ones that usually protest. You're the ones that normally go out into these stores and burn them to the ground, loot them, steal from them, and try to do it all in the name of social justice. It really is ironic. It says alarm. Target decided to pull some of its Pride merchandise from shelves, uh, but by giving in to conservative pressures inside of Target, aka normal people, uh, opposition to Pride may escalate into violence. Oh, really? You think it might? I guarantee that it probably will, and I guarantee you the people who are the normal ones are not probably going to be the ones to throw blows first, even though they honestly should be. They're the ones whose kids are being targeted, not the psychos who already gave up their kids in the name of social justice. They're not the ones being targeted. It's the other ones. So again, I wouldn't blame them if they did go to blows, but I highly doubt they're going to be the first ones to do so, as evidence here. It says, Target has historically been a champion. A champion. Oh, what great, great word, champion. That makes you feel good, doesn't it? Of LGBTQ plus communities for a decade, the company has celebrated June as Pride Month by putting out advertisements and merchandise specifically for members and allies of the LGBTQ community, because clearly ally is a word that everybody wants to be called, huh, comrade? It says Target's Pride displays have never appeased all of their customers. No display can possibly interest every shopper, and that was okay until this year. Now that violent threat has entered into discussion, suddenly the voices of those upset with Pride displays and merchandise matter. They, they should matter. They've always mattered, and they only haven't mattered because people were complacent
consistent with it. People were quiet. They were letting it slide because nobody wants to be bothered. That's that's really what the truth. Nobody wants to be bothered. Everybody wants to go about their daily night life not worrying about the fact that their kid has been indoctrinated into some odd sex cult for money. Like that's that's not something that people want to think about. But now you have forced a hand. You bit off way more than you can chew, and that's the problem. Like you took a mile when you were given an inch, and that's unfortunately your greed. You were greedy with it. You saw how much uh, power, how much clout you were gaining in the LGBTQ community in terms of the online social media space and social justice. You saw how much you were gaining and you wanted it all. And that's the problem. When you get it all, you're going to get it all, if you know what I mean. It says, let's be clear, it's not on account of political pressures, angry posts on social media, or the fear of lost customers that Target has given into these demands. Plainly and clearly, Target has made the announcement that it will exceed bold demands backed by violent threats. Target says that it's not it's protecting its employees by giving into those demands. But how are queer and trans Target workers supposed to feel? What will happen next year when pride displays go up and a small but vocal group of protesters who have perfected the art of pressuring large corporations is doing what they want come out of the woodwork? This is amazing. This particular paragraph is absolutely amazing because this right here is exactly how the woke psychopath left was described in social media whenever there was protest because it was always a small minority. The people who canceled Aunt Jemima, small minority. The people who complained about stuff on Twitter, small minority. And yet you have all these corporations bending the knee to this particular group of people, even though they have been proven to be a very small minority of the population, single digits if they're even lucky. So again, at the end of the day, how are you going to say that now, since the shoe is on the other foot, now you want to complain about people boycotting stuff? You want to complain about people having political and social pressures on organizations to do the right thing? Really? When you've been doing this for decades, are you serious right now? That is honestly the, the pot calling the kettle black. But again, this is what this is where we are in today's country. It says, with every success won by actual or threatened violence, why should we expect the result to be anything except more violence? Mere days ago, here's the best part about this article that I was telling you about. Mere days ago, bomb threats were made against Target stores in Utah, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. The threats, which were emailed to local news outlets, stated in part that Target is full of cowards who turned their back on the LGBTQ community and decided to cater to the homophobic right-wing redneck bigots who protested and vandalized their store, according to USA Today. This seems inevitable in escalation and violence. Ladies and gentlemen, this violence is coming from the left. <laughs> That's the funny thing. This violence is literally, that, that entire bomb threat email, I've, I've made many videos on it, that was made by someone in the LGBTQ community. They are threatening to blow up fucking Target, ladies and gentlemen. So you want to complain about right-wing conservatives going into stores and destroying pride signs or going outside of the stores and protesting when you got people on your side threatening to bomb the fucking place. <laughs> so how how is anybody going to feel bad about your situation? How is anybody going to feel bad about your entire argument when you are literally taking it to a level that nobody's taking it? Everybody's taking it on a verbal level. You're the one who's going absolutely insane and saying you're going to blow up the fucking place so let's be real ladies and gentlemen this is not this is not anything to do with team member safety this is not anything to do with oh lgbtq are persecuted you guys are targeting kids and that's your problem and since you took it to that step now you angered the bears the mama bears and the papa bears are out there fighting against you because the people who were once complacent and quiet are now totally against what you stand for so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.